Alrighty, what is going on everybody? Welcome back, MTG here with another episode. Now I did, I've been making a lot of OnePlus 7 Pro videos for like the past four or five videos and today is no different. Uh, I did make a video on the Android 10 official update for the OnePlus 7 Pro and also a video on how you can get Android 10 on this bad boy. But I don't think that was, well I didn't really like the video too much. I didn't go too in depth about what you specifically get in Android 10. Uh, and I'm going to put out basically everything that you'll straight out notice uh, once you get the Android 10 update. So without further delay, let's dive right in. So first thing that you're going to notice when you do get the Android 10 update is the boot up logo. It's going to be different. So watch this. There we go. That is the new Android 10 logo. It does look much different and it's more tuned and refined. Uh, I actually really like it. Um, it just looks more modern and more sleek. So that's the first thing you'll notice when you do boot up your OnePlus 7 Pro and if you do get the OnePlus 7 uh, with Android 10 as well. Uh, and not just this, basically every other Android phone that gets Android 10 in the future later on. So the OnePlus 7T, the 7T Pro. Uh, so expect to get some sort of Android logo, like some refined logo. So the first thing you'll notice, well, the first thing I really notice is how fast the fingerprint sensor is. And I do apologize for all the fingerprints, but this is blazing fast. Just like that, that is very fast compared to, let's say something on the Galaxy S or the Galaxy Note 10. It is just very, very fast. Uh, makes things much easier. Um, there obviously is that face unlock with the, that pop-up camera but I don't use it too often. I don't really take selfies that often either, but that is really quick. Um, you don't really need to hold on to it that much. You just place your finger, let go, and bam, you're in. Now, on the home screen, obviously, there's a couple things here. Uh, the first one is the camera. The icon is a bit different. Obviously, you can change it to its original look, so with its OnePlus look. There you go. So we got the original, the OnePlus logo, uh, camera icon, my bad. But on the OnePlus 7T and 7T Pro, I think they refined that and changed it up a little bit too. But I'm gonna dive right in. You can change the icons and everything. Uh, and also, when once you look at this widget, it's the Google search widget, but it's dark. And that's because Android 10 is based on dark mode. Um, so, just to verify, go into settings, you see dark mode is throughout the whole entire user interface. And once we go to about phone, Android version 10, and there we go, some people did think it would be called like Android Q, but that doesn't seem to be the case. I guess they dropped the letter naming scheme. Obviously they will have internal names of like Android Q and Android R. And then the build number, here is Oxygen OS 10.0. And I think this is the cleanest version of Android. I actually kind of like this more than stock Android. You do have more um, customization options and everything like that. So it's a very level one plus to do it. Keep it up if you do watch this video. So here's our notification screen, our notification bar. Um, not much change from Android 9, at least from what I noticed. Uh, night mode, well, dark mode. Uh, so that didn't really change and essentially it didn't really get into some of the apps um, But the usually the stock apps everything is really in there. So For Google News uh, It's supposed to be rolling out for Gmail didn't get that yet uh, YouTube Creator Studio didn't get that yet YouTube obvi obviously has that so there's no need to worry Google Chrome uh, even the Play Store has that dark mode and you will be seeing that rolling out uh, throughout the next couple of weeks and next couple of months. Now another great thing is when you go into settings, you'll notice right here it's going to say customization. And this gives you a lot of different uh, options to customize really. So you first start off with the preset theme and I'm using illuminating light. Uh, we can change that and try vibrant tints as one of them. I'm not really a fan, but Let's see how that is. Didn't know, I didn't really notice too much of a difference until you go down into the notification bar um, 
and the settings obviously not really my liking but and it's not really dark mode everything so I I'm not really a fan of that so we can change that to this last one I don't even know how to pronounce that so I'm gonna try there we go so most of them are back to dark mode and we swipe up now you notice I did here let me just zoom out for you so I did swipe up obviously there's new gestures I'll get into that in a little bit and there is the third preset theme obviously you can definitely download more themes uh, launchers if you do some people have a lot of people actually have Nova launcher but I don't really have the need or seek the need for a separate launcher or theme I'm really happy with one with what whatever OnePlus puts out there uh, it's probably my favorite and so we're back to that back to illuminating light definitely going to put that in dark mode so right here we look uh, gives you the wallpaper lock screen customization so the wallpaper the clock style the fingerprint animation and the horizontal light so usually I keep it at this default but I kind of do like the analog and a minimalism is really nice too you, you don't really need to have one either but I think I'm going to keep with the analog for now so I'm going to save that then the fingerprint animation so right now I have Cosmos you can get Ripple, Stripe, or really none. Uh, I still go with Cosmo most of the time. So I'm going to save that. And then the horizontal light, so when you get a notification that just, I have blue, but I think I can change it to red. Just gonna change things up, spruce things up. Now, the accent colors. So we go here, and if you notice my accent colors are blue, uh, we can try whatever this, it's like a brown or a purple. I'm just gonna go with this brown color. And you can change it, you can change the you know, gamut colors and if you want to have on display P3. Um, but usually I'm just gonna keep it at whatever its um, normal settings are at. And then the tone. So here is where you can change it to either light mode or dark mode or have it colorful so it just changes throughout the UI. I'm gonna go full out dark mode because I've been waiting such a long time for this. Now we scroll down and we get the shapes. So here are the shapes of the icon. I usually go with round. Uh, ever since Google has released them on their Android versions, I very was, I, I never had an Android, stock Android device, so I always wanted it. That's when I would download launchers, but now I got OnePlus. Uh, so I'm gonna stick with the round icons. Never liked these square ones. I really like the teardrops either, even though Google has those. Uh, as well and then they're round rectangles so I'm going to go with a round and then here is the icon pack so we do get one pluses icon pack we can go all out round obviously if you notice it did change that up I don't really like the icons how they look around it just looks like it's being cut off if you look closely at YouTube creator studio it just it really looks like it's getting cut off, so I'm not going to go with that. Then there's square. Um, I don't really like the look of that either. No. I think I'm just going to go with the OnePlus's stock icon pack. Obviously, you can get more through the Play Store. I don't have any. Don't really need any. And remember, all of these, um, the accent color and the shapes and the icon pack, you can get them through the Play Store. Next is the font. So right now I'm using Roboto. Um, I could switch to OnePlus Slate and use their font. And let's go with that just to change things up. So there is that. And now another new thing you're going to notice is buttons and gestures. So with Android 10, uh, basically what they're trying to get at is something like the new iPhones. Everything is gesture based, right? The iPhone doesn't have a home button and they're trying to get that with Android 10. So if you notice right here, I had to swipe up from the home, from the bottom to go home, right? And I swipe up, hold in the middle, and I pull up my recents, right? And then once I do that, if I want to switch, just swipe over. Keep swiping over to left or right. And that's basically how you get to your recents. 
So we're back into buttons and gestures. Now, zooming in a little bit more, you go to navigation, bar, and gestures. So we can get the back, home, and recents button. buttons. So when you look there, you get them and they are there. So you can still keep those stock buttons. Um, not everyone really is probably going to, actually a lot of people are going to go with it. Uh, I myself, at first I thought I wouldn't get used to gestures, but they seem fine. They work much better than they did with Android Pie. Next up is these navigation gestures. So the left and right. So you get this little thin bar, the bottom. Uh, and this one's just a bit, I don't know how to use this as often. Um, so I know, let's say when you're in Google Chrome, to swipe back, you would have to swipe from the side of the screen. Now, it's the same when you want to switch apps, you just swipe over to the right or to the left, in essence. Um, but I just don't like how that still takes up some space. So what I would do, and I, what I was doing before is just navigation gestures in general. Uh, clean look, there's nothing on the bottom of the screen. You get used to, say, so swipe up from the bottom to go to the home screen, swipe up and hold to get to your recents, and then you can pull back out or pull towards the bottom to get back into your recents, and then to switch apps, you just go back and forth. So there is that. Now I know a lot of people are upset with um, OnePlus had their own specific custom gestures. I really, I really did like that, but they got rid of it. Oh well, what can you do? Um, gotta keep moving on forward, right? Now another thing that I did notice, aside from fingerprints scanner, is something called Game Space. So it's this own app that OnePlus has, not Android 10, but OnePlus, and they basically store all of your games in there. I only have two. Um, Pokemon Go and Minecraft. Now if you notice, I only played Pokemon Go for zero minutes today. Gotta catch up on that. I rarely play Minecraft. I know some people told me to get Call of Duty. Not going to. Uh, but another main thing you're going to notice is with the camera. Now if you guys do know, with OnePlus uh, 7 Pro, they got the three lenses, the wide, the ultra wide, and the telephoto. And a lot of complaints were that you can't record in ultra wide or in telephoto, can record video. And OnePlus did change that. So we're gonna go to video. So right now we're in photo, obviously you get the ultra wide, normal wide lens, and then the telephoto, right? Well, when you swipe to video, there we go. So here is the wide lens, here's the ultra wide, and then the telephoto. So we do have the option to record in ultra wide essentially, and it actually works really well. The only complaint I have is it's not as smooth and calibrated as with the iPhone 11 Pro and Pro Max. I watched videos on them, and I did test videos on myself uh, with my phone to see how smooth they are, and it's just not great. It just doesn't work. The colors are so much different. Uh, it just doesn't smooth out in the video at all, but iPhone works very well. So uh, I know I shouldn't be saying this in this video, but if you are interested in uh, mobile photography, especially for video, definitely go with the iPhone 11 or the 11 Pro. Now there are those nitpick features, the small features that you'll notice here and there, obviously security and permissions with Android 10. Uh, you got smart reply with messages and all your notifications. But other than that, these are really the big features that you'll notice like that'll pop out right away. Uh, and by the way, if you guys are interested in this wallpaper, I do use the app called Resplash. And I love this app. Obviously, I don't have my internet turned on, but it's just amazing. You'll get high quality, modern, sleek, elegant wallpapers. And you guys know me, I change my wallpapers like every two, three days. Uh, I definitely recommend that app if you guys are interested in where I got this wallpaper from. Now I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to Superman that like button, comment down below, and best of all, Superman that subscribe button. Until next time everybody, and until next video, this is MTG.